So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this little slash effect right here. So this is a nice little slash effect I made. And it basically just every time you emit it, it does this little slash right here. And I'll show you guys how to change the speed and anything you want about it. But first, let's get to making it. So the first part you're going to need is you're going to need this texture ID, which I'll leave this texture ID in the description, but you can just copy it right here too if you want, but it will be in the description. So after you get this texture ID, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn off light influence because look this is naturally always on and watch it just gets rid of uh it gets rid of what is it called brightness so if you turn this off then your brightness can come and look it's much brighter and looks better for a slash effect so also you could just change the picture but light emission i just set it to one i think you can really just mess around with that but light emission one brightness you can also just mess around with this a lot and then the color you could just choose whatever you want whatever you think looks best but if you're going to do a color make sure it's not at the top like here because look watch what happens when you put it at the top see it doesn't look that good so you want to make sure okay so let's say i choose this orange right here you're going to want to bring it down down here and then watch now look good you don't have to bring it down that low but if you're gonna choose a color choose it then bring it down like that and now look bam there you go i think i turned it down a little too much so i'm gonna put it up a little bit more yep that's good okay so after that though you're basically just gonna want to mess with your size so this uh what is it called this effect is really small so i have it set to five size because like look this is a one by one by one stud part so yeah look it's really small so i have it set to five because because it's a really small uh, texture. So you wanna make it bigger. And then now you're basically going to do a transparency uh, sequence. We're not doing the size one, which is what you do for most, but see, I just left it like that. But transparency, we're gonna make it get more transparent over time. So it looks, so it like fades away at the end. So you can make it more advanced than this, but mine's just a straight line. And the plugin I'm using for this is ROS Particle Editor, but there's other plugins, or you could just use the normal graph. This is what the normal graph looks like if you want it. Yeah, this is what the normal graph looks like. Just also a straight line, but there's other plugins. I might get VFX Suite to make it easier, but yeah, ROS Particle Editor is a free plugin. And yeah, I just use that for the transparency right now. And then also uh, make sure this is not enabled because if it's enabled, it's going to look like this. So it's not going to look as good. And even with the rate of three, like it looks nothing like how it looks like when you do that. So yeah, make sure this is enabled because the type of effect it is, it's a one, it's technically like a, a effect you do once it's not like an infinite effect so if, if whenever it's not an infinite effect make sure to turn off enable and then the emit direction you want it to be from the top oh and something i forgot to mention is you want this to be velocity perpendicular because if you keep this at facing camera or facing camera world up you can put it parallel but parallel is practically facing camera most of the time but uh if you put it facing camera watch when i like adjust over here it's gonna adjust oh wait what oh wait no i didn't switch it never mind that's my bad okay yeah look see so that's not what we want though we want a slash effect so you want to make it velocity perpendicular so it's forced to uh, face like up and down so like look i think if i perfectly line up from the side like this it's gonna be really hard to see it and eh, i don't know i might not be doing it right but yeah you want to make sure it's velocity perpendicular so you can get it from the top like that and then the rate i just set it to what i have the emit rate at so i have the emit rate at three so i like to put this to whatever it is so i remember what it is like for example if i were to change this to one i would be like oh wait this says three so i'll just change my emit to three also, this is a plugin right here because the ROS particle editor plugin, the emit thing is not good. It only allows you to emit one particle at a time and it has to be the same like thing for each particle. Like I could have three for this effect and then five for another effect. So this one is called, let me check actually real quick. Okay, my plugins aren't loading actually, but I do remember it's called like emit or something. So yeah, it's just some kind of emit plugin. Pretty much any emit plugin that can emit multiple effects will work. You can use like the ROS particle editor one just for this kind of effect but when you have multiple effects you need an emitter plugin or the vfx suite i think can do it too but um yeah that's pretty much it for the rate and the emitting so yeah uh next you're gonna want to change your rotational speed right here so your rotational speed is uh well basically so based on how this effect works it's going to be uh what is it called it's going to rotate at a certain speed based on the flip book so i'll explain that right now it's going to rotate a little bit just based on the flip book 
look. So if I were to set this to zero, it's still gonna emit. It's gonna still rotate a little. See, it's rotating a little just because of that's how the flip book works. But negative 300, and then basically you could set your speed to 0 0.01. Just it can't be 0 0.1. It has to have at least 0 0.01, or you can add more zeros if you want. But it really doesn't change anything. So yeah, I just have it at 0 0.01. This is just so the particle doesn't move like up or down or any of the directions it's emitting in, so it stays flat. So if I were to put this to right, it's still gonna do the same thing. Oh wait, never mind. If I were to put this to bottom, it's gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, it did reverse it, but like that's my point. It just it's not gonna move from the away from the center. No way, not front top. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what that. Wait, did I do something? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, next thing you're gonna want to do is now the most important part, probably. So I probably should have said this at first, but uh, that's my bad. So you're gonna want to set your emitter shape or not emitter shape. Sorry, flip book. So this is a flip book. So here, I'll go show you guys what an example of a flip book is because you should have the texture, but this is what a flip book is. It looks like this. This, this is what a flip book is. It has multiple effects on the same little thing and they each like, and so then when you make it like this, where you said it's a grid four by four, it combines it all into one. It's kind of hard to explain. It's a little weird, but yeah, that's basically what it does. So it's basically what you want to do is set it to grid four by four and there's other choices. So when it's like has eight of them, it's grid eight by eight and just, yeah, it's just any like that. And then this, you most of the time you're going to set your flip books to one shot because loop at that point, you, it's not going to probably be a flip book. So yeah, you're going to well, most of the time set it to one shot and this is a one shot plugin since it's a slash not plugin effect it's a one shot effect because it's a slash and yeah now basically you should have this and i don't know what this does right here flipbook uh, determines whether the animation starts at a random frame chosen per particle instead of yeah no just uh keep that probably uh, disabled but yeah you can pretty much just change around your coloring or anything and yeah that's pretty much going to be it and now you should have a nice little slash effect right here oh wait i forgot to say how to speed it up okay to speed it up you want to change rotation speed so if i were to change this to negative 500 it's going to be going probably a whole loop yeah look so you made a whole loop it's gonna be a little faster too but if you don't want it to last as long uh you just set the transparency higher i think yeah and basically it just won't last long or you can turn down the lifetime if you turn down the lifetime it makes things move faster watch look see it moves way faster but i think at 0.4 is a good lifetime so yeah you could change it around if you want though that's pretty much going to be it uh now you should have a nice slash effect but this can be the end of my video subscribe to help the channel bye